Hi everybody, it is March 1st, it's Thursday, and it is a B-Day today. Today we were working on two main objectives. We're still continuing to work on minerals, so we're looking at the things that characterize minerals. We're also working on the properties that we use to identify certain minerals, properties like hardness, luster, and streak. The other thing that we started today in um, class was working on mineral groups. So we're starting to look at what are the minerals composed of, what elements are in the minerals, and so what group does that put them in. Here's one of the graphics from our notes today, and this is a really good graphic to explain um, the different mineral groups. The largest group by far on Earth of minerals are called the silicates. And the reason that they're the largest group, the most abundant group, 92% of minerals on Earth are in the silicates group. The reason that they're the most abundant group is because when you look at the element abundances of um, different elements in Earth's crust, you see that oxygen is about 47% of the Earth's crust and silicon is about 28%. So in our crust, we have a lot of oxygen and silicon. Um, and so those combine to form a mineral group called the silicates. In class today, we had um, a, a lot on the agenda. We started out by um, doing a warm-up, a Freyer model warm-up. So you were looking at the five characteristics of a mineral. You were listing as mineral, many minerals as you could. You were looking at non-examples of minerals like amber is not a mineral because it's organic. And you are also looking at how minerals are formed. They're mainly formed from lava or magma solidifying or minerals precipitating out of solution. We also um, took some notes today and then we did some work on our vocabulary in a Quizlet. You went on to Ed Puzzle and you did a little bit more work on the properties of different minerals. And then hopefully if you had time, you went and actually um, were identifying the minerals in the lab. If you finish that, then you made it all the way to the Blood Diamonds article that you were to read and reflect on. We ended class with an exit ticket today. It was a 10 question exit. Question number 10 on our exit ticket was a question that students, um, some students had a hard time with. So what mineral group has the most rock forming minerals? Well, we have um, an abundance of the element oxygen and the element silicon in our crust. And so the answer to this would be the silicates. The silicate group has the most rock forming mineral minerals on earth. And some of those rock forming minerals include uh, quartz, feldspar, pyroxene, olivine, um, the micas, biotite, and muscovite. Those are all minerals that you were able to see in the gizmo and in the lab today. You have homework tonight. I want you to open up the PowerPoint with the notes in it. I want you to compare what you see in the PowerPoint to what you wrote down on your notes. I want you to rewrite your notes. I want you to um, go through the notes so that you're prepared for the quiz that we're going to have on Monday. The quiz is going to cover Virginia's provinces. It's going to cover the characteristics of minerals. It will also cover um, the properties and the tests that we use to identify minerals, and it will cover mineral groups. So it's really important that you um, continue to check back and look at your notes and reread your notes. In addition to that, if you did not get to the Ed Puzzle today in class, you need to do the Ed Puzzle for homework. Also, if you didn't read the Blood Diamond article in class, you need to um, read that article. I hope everybody has a great weekend. Stay um, warm tomorrow. I know it's supposed to be super windy tomorrow. I'm looking out the window there. It's raining right now, but it's going to be windy tomorrow. And I hope you take care, and I will see you soon. Keep working hard. Everybody did a great job in class today.